only got one seed per. Hi folks and welcome back. As you saw I uh, just went and harvested those carrots that we found out by our Cassiterite mine last episode. Um, only got one seed per per uh, <clears throat> per plant so I still haven't seen any benefit from my uh, supposedly adept agricultural level but uh, it's too late in the season if you have a look here if we have a look here it's uh, we're in late autumn already and we're halfway through the season I think seasons are 10 days long so there's just not enough time carrots grow slowly and you know there isn't even any guarantee that we'll get through the end of autumn without the snow showing up so so the seeds will just have to sit in our garden shed until next spring okay what else do we have going on here <clears throat> uh yeah also in the last episode so we filled up a barrel here with lime water I, so i went and filled these other two barrels with fresh water and we want these three barrels for making leather so let's grab some hides here there they are i knew i had some hides and first step of the process is we throw them in the lime water. Um, the second step, we'll just use fresh water so that barrel's fine. But the third step will require tannin, for which we will need a log. Oak. I like oak. I don't. It used to matter. There were only certain logs that worked, but now I think all logs work. So put that up there. And you see, well, it'll eventually give us some tannin. Okay, so we've started with our first leather working. Ooh. I was going to about say we can make leather armor, but actually now we could make metal armor, right? Um, what's the next thing we want to do here? So the tree farm, how's the tree farm doing? No, it still hasn't brought, you can see the tree farm is mostly sprung up, but there's still a three or four trees to go there before we do that. Um, oh yeah, uh, I wanted to do a, make up a tool rack, a couple of tool racks. I've got all, I made all these bronze tools last time and I've still got a bunch of copper tools hanging around. <clears throat> and so it's kind of cluttering up my inventory. I could throw them in chests, but I find it a little handier to have them on racks. Oh, and also I want to do it with these javelins as well. Um, so for tool racks, I already have maple here, so I might as well make them out of maple. Except I want two of them, so I'll need another maple log. And that will do the trick for us. Whoops. No, don't want that. That's what I want. Come out here. Turn those into boards or lumber. And make ourselves a pair <clears throat> of tool racks. One up there. The other one there. Uh, this is the one that'll get the javelins. I'm just calling them spears, I think. More correctly, they are javelins. And on this one, so, so the, the way these things work is you can see there's four slots on each of them. So when you have a tool in hand, like say this scythe, then you just hover over the slot you want to put it in and right click. And it goes up there. Um, what else we got? I'm not going to be needing that bronze pickaxe anytime soon. I will, however, be needing the shovel, so I want to hang on to that. Uh, I'm not going to be using this pro pick for a while. Uh, the hammer actually has a better place. It can go in the anvil. So let's put it there. And I guess the other one is I don't need the chisel for anything. Or I won't need it for a little while. Just trying to get some of the stuff cleared out. I don't need this many vessels in my inventory. And I don't need that in there right now. 
And I think we're golden. Oh, and in terms of food, these are the carrots I just picked, so they've got 30 days. Yeah, this one, these onions decay in 15 days, so we will swap them around. And this garlic is about 27. Do I have room in here? Yeah. So why don't we actually put the carrots into one of these vessels and it'll last even longer. There we go. Nice. Okay. Water ourselves up a little bit. All right. Now, now comes the main point of all this, <clears throat> or of this episode, rather. What, what I'd like to do is start working on some animalcules, getting ourselves some livestock, you know, some sheep and that. So the two biggies for me are uh, sheep, so I can start getting wool and finally make a bed, and cow, so I can collect milk and make the make cheese and stuff like that. Because if you look at the, again, let's look here, you'll see that one of our nutritional uh, slots is dairy. So right now I'm getting no dairy at all. Um, protein, I can eat, I can go kill things and get meat from that. I get protein from the meat. And the grain, I can, I've got plenty of grain there and I can make bread out of it and get, get that way. So dairy is the one I'm really missing. Uh, so it'd be nice to get some cows. So definitely cows and uh, <clears throat> and sheep, maybe goats. Um, I've never done goats before. They're new in TNG. They weren't in the classic. So actually, I'm not even positive that you can uh, that you can raise goats, but uh, but you probably can. And pigs, maybe. Um, again, no no major use for pigs once I have the others. So, but. Who knows, maybe I'll just want to complete the collection. Oh, and probably chickens too, eventually. Yeah, probably chickens. Anyway, um, but I need a place to put them all. Now, I have a kind of an open area here. It'd be pretty easy to clear it. But this part here, I um, kind of want to keep it for the berry bushes. So our berry farm. And then this section over here is going to be the orchard. I know we only get one tree, but, you know dream big. <clears throat> so what I really need to do is to clear all this stuff out here. Oops. That's gonna take a while. Uh, so I gotta, gotta take down all the trees. I'll probably run through with, oh I just put the scythe away. Said I wasn't gonna be using it, but yes I do need it. So I'll run through the scythe and uh, scythe all the trees so I can get uh, sticks and uh, saplings from them and the other thing is uh, so I'll chop down all the trees these axes are probably sufficient for that there aren't that many trees but there is a lot of dirt these shovels just won't make it so I'm going to have to um, uh, what's the word uh, <laughs> Process. I'm just going to say process. I can't think of the word right now. But anyways, I'm going to have to make up some more bronze. Um, probably need to make two bronze shovels. And while I'm at it, I'll make a bronze pickaxe just so that I have it. Um, maybe a bronze, maybe another bronze scythe because scything seems to really go. <clears throat> cutting cutting the uh, leaves off trees seems to go through the scythes pretty quickly. So that's the first thing I'll get started on, and I'll try not to waste too much time on it this time. So what have we got here? Uh, hang on. So we've got 560 and 280. That's 7, that's 840. Um, so 10% of that would be 84. So three of those is 75, one of those is 85, close enough. And <clears throat> that should give us a little over 9 per, 9 to 9%, 9% uh, cassiterite out of the total. Just trust me on that. 
because if I'm wrong, you get to laugh at me. Okay, I'm going to need some thatch. Eight thatch. Uh, get him out of there. Um, I probably want to have some more molds. Because I didn't have enough the last time. And do tend to go through them. They get used up over time. And, oh yeah, I'm going to get the fire starter. And I'm going to need some wood. Oh, I don't want to use maple. Well, maybe I do. What else have I got here? Sequoia. I have a feeling I'm going to end up with a lot of Sequoia. So, <laughs> once I clear that area out there. So, we'll go with the Sequoia. More here. Put that in there. Three of these molds. The other mold can just sit here. You've seen me do this numerous times before by now. So I won't dwell on it too much. Oh yeah, that is the fire starter. Yeah, okay. Yeah, first time. All right. Uh, so what else can I throw up here? I'm not going to be using this guy at all. And I'm definitely going to need the axes and the shovels. I really don't need the picks. So let's put a, throw that pick up there. That's about it. Okay, so I'm going to start running through here and siding these guys. And once that's done, I'm going to chop them all down. And then after I chop them all down, I'm going to, oops, I'm going to start digging into this dirt here and leveling that out. I may bring you back part way through, but this is going to be pretty darned boring for you so I won't put you through at all so I'll see you in a bit Okay, well, I finished clearing the trees out of here, and as you can see, it started snowing. I think we're still in late autumn. Yeah, still in late autumn. So we, in this biome, or at this latitude, we get snow even before we hit winter. Uh, this highlights another pretty minor difference between... Uh, TNG and classic Terra Firmacraft <clears throat> is in uh, classic Terra Firmacraft once the temperatures get too low oh, need to eat something here the, uh, the plants just convert to seed and the seeds kind of, it's weird, they don't float there like seeds normally do, but they lie flat against the ground and then you can collect them up. But here, I guess they just turn into dead plants and you have to uh, harvest them to get the seeds back. So, I'll grab these seeds and get them put safely away. And then I have to take all that dirt out of there. Level it all out. That is going to be really tedious. Oh, the things I do for my art. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, well that's that all cleared out. 
I hope I never have to do that again anytime soon. So, let's see now. So, yeah, so that gives me, I'll clear those trees out some other time, but that gives me lots of room for my orchard in here and my berry farm in there. And then I go put the animal pens up in here. The other nice thing is they'll be far enough away from the house that I won't have to listen to their noises when I'm in the house. So how long did that take anyway? I started out on November, afternoon of November 5th. So five, seven, like seven days, six and a half, seven days. Ugh. But it's all done. As you can see, I got a little bit of dirt here. And here and here. <laughs> Also picked up a bit of sand and a bit of rock as well. Okay, um, so we'll want to start building the pens, but before that, this has probably been this has been done for a while now. So let's take this out of here. It's now medium soaked hide. We need a log. There's a log. I'm not sure if you have to lie it on its side, but I always do. Okay, so what's happened now is the lime water has uh, softened the hide and it has loosened the hair and whatever bits of fat and flesh remain on it. So we now have to scrape all that off. Scrape it clean. Do that with a knife. We throw it on the side of a log on the ground. And then there's like 16 squares. hide that we have to scrape oh you can actually drag <laughs> all right oops there goes my knife all right let's make make another one or another pair actually It's not working. Okay. And last one. Okay, so that now makes these medium scrape tides. And we throw them in here to rinse the remaining lime, lime out of them. Because lime is caustic and if we leave it in there it'll slowly cause the height to deteriorate. Not to mention that if we make any clothing out of it, it'll burn our skin. Not a lot, but a bit. Okay, that would be if this was real life, of course. But Minecraft's close enough to real life. Okay. So, next on our hit parade is... Making those pens. Well, we got lots of... We, we do have... Actually, we have a lot of oak. I wonder why we ended up with so much oak. I didn't think there were that many oak trees. Well, mind you, we have two stacks of Douglas fir here. Yeah, let's, let's go with Douglas fir then. Alright, let's turn a bunch of this stuff into planks. There's my saw. Oh. Plank blocks. Uh, 
Okay, now I think, I think fencing goes like this. Yes. That's 32. at all. There we go. That's better. Okay. That should be enough for at least one pen. I'm also going to want... Well, first let's have a drink. Um, I was going to want a couple of ladders. I said a couple of ladders. And some smooth stone. All will be made clear shortly. There we go. Smooth gabber. Perfect. Okay, we'll start at the back so we know how much room we have. Wee, okay. Leave myself a bit of room here. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That should be good enough. That's a big enough pen. I'm going to want the entrance there, so we skip. Now, normally, you're expected to put a gate in, right? But I find gates annoying because you open them and then the animals, as you're trying to go in and out, the animals get in and out. So instead, I prefer to just, whoops. Not, not to do that. I prefer not to do that. So I prefer to just put some ladders on. Just have to put them at the top. It'll work better that way. There. And I can get in and out, and the animals don't. Oh, the other thing. Oh, I can find a purpose for some of this dirt. Is this will act as a ramp when we're trying to lead the animals in. Okay, and there we have our first pen. I won't bother laying down the second one until we put animals in the first one. Speaking of which, what animals have we actually found? Uh, Look on our map, we have. Oh god. <laughs> I haven't been very good about keeping track of the animals apparently, so the only thing I kept track of was that I ran into goats here. Well, I know that we've definitely run into more than that. I'm. We've run. Have we, I don't know, we've run into chickens, we've run into pheasants. I'm pretty sure we ran into sheep somewhere. Anyway, so. The next thing we'll have to do is run around and find some animals to put in these pens. Specifically, I'd like to find sheep. Sheep and cows. But that's going to have to happen next episode, because uh, we filled up this one. So I hope you had a good time, and I hope you come back next time. And then we'll start becoming herders, I guess. We're already farmers. We farm stuff, so like it's called animal husbandry. So we become husbands. <laughs> That's what it is. We're going to become husbands. Husbands to the animacules. All right. I will see you again. Bye.